Hi, this is Pat Martins with Bridge Preservation and Inspection Services. I'm a member of a team called the Latex Modified Concrete Working Group. What we are is a group of distinguished experts in the field of latex modified concrete. Now, I use that term expert very loosely here because you know what they say about experts, someone who is just knowledgeable enough about a topic to be dangerous. But really, we are a committed and passionate group that have worked around latex concrete for a long, long time, and it's our aim to share some of our expertise with you. Our group includes consultants, latex producers, contractors, and suppliers, along with DOT support. So we do have a diverse group of individuals who want to provide you the best source of information when it comes to designing, producing, and placing your high-performance latex modified concrete. This is our inaugural video. And I thank you for joining us on our Latex Modified Concrete Working Group YouTube channel. I hope to be able to provide you a continuing series of videos designed each week to bring you exciting information about Latex Modified Concrete. With all that is going on around the world right now with the coronavirus and how it has affected our ability to travel to conferences, to have meetings, and just plain interact with people, this seemed like a good opportunity for our group to get more in touch with people through the social media platform and launch this video. I want to introduce you to the main topic for today, and maybe the most appropriate way for us to launch into our first video is to just talk about what in the world is high-performance latex modified concrete. Many of you may not be familiar with it. Now, the, Amer the American Concrete Institute defines high-performance concrete as Concrete meeting special combinations of performance and uniformity requirements that cannot always be achieved routinely when using conventional constituents and normal mixing, placing, and curing practices. This includes design parameters falling under the strength and or durability criterion. From a historical perspective, high performance concrete terminology and intended design probably dates back to the early 1990s in the United States. However, I challenge that. In reality, it started back in the late 1960s with the advent of latex modified concrete developed by the Dow Chemical Company. The use of latex modified concrete was specifically developed as a structural concrete overlay product to quickly and cost effectively rehabilitate bridge decks. It was designed to withstand harsh environments by producing a long-term bond that also had the necessary flexural strength to perform for 25 years and beyond. They had, in essence, developed a high-performance concrete. They just didn't know it. So I think you could take the liberty to say that HPLMC was really the forerunner of high-performance concretes. But I want to get back to the question of just what is it? High-performance latex modified concrete versus conventional Portland cement concrete. The only difference is really in the addition of the latex modifier. Latex that is produced specifically for use in modifying concrete is a suspension of tiny styrene butadiene polymer particles in water. So it is an emulsion that gets added in with the mixed water. It will have a milky look to it, and if you look at it under a microscope, you can see the tiny polymer particles floating around. These styrene but butadiene Particles are excellent water resistors, so to speak, during the introduction of this emulsion and the mixed water to the concrete mixing process. These particles want to try and separate themselves from the water. So they look to attach themselves to the aggregates, the cement particles, and the concrete surface that they're placed on. They're even trying to coalesce or fuse themselves together. Anything to break away from the water. As the hydration process is occurring and the water is being consumed, the polymer particles are left within the concrete. And they help to form a barrier that now reduces the ability of moisture and chemicals to be able to penetrate it. That is why it is an excellent concrete to use in a bridge deck overlay application. And that in a nutshell is what makes HPLMC different from conventional concrete. Today, high-performance latex modified concretes are still being used by many state DOTs and other agencies around the country. Virginia was one of the very first states to use HPLMC back in the late 1960s. They still use it today. That's 50 years of testimonial on a product. Tens of thousands of bridge decks across the United States have been protected using HPLMC. So that's a wrap on our first working group video. Ta-da! I made it through the first one, and it's a good thing because the lights are going out. 
I hope to get back with you next week and talk with you about the four uses of HPLMC on bridge decks. I'm sure you'll be on the edge of your seats waiting for that one. And if you found this video informative, hit that subscribe button on the side. Check us out on Facebook, too, at Latex Modified Concrete WG. And if you have a specific question about Latex Concrete, drop our group an email. We'd love to hear from you. You can reach us at lmcwg at bridgepreservation.net. We'll get back with you and answer your question. Hey, let's make Latex great again. See you next time.